Hello, my name is Keith Effort with NIDEC. Today I'm going to provide you a brief demonstration of the new NIDEC YC200 YAG laser and YC200 S Plus YAG SLT laser system. In addition to our new design, what we've done is we've shortened the distance. Now this is important for doctors who may have shorter arms. It's going to reduce fatigue for those doctors while they're treating their patients with laser. Also, in addition to that, we've put a ledge on our forehead rest so the doctor can actually place their finger on the ledge to stabilize the lens um, while they're treating the patient. It's going to provide a more accurate laser treatment and stability. We also have a unique joystick. Now this joystick is motorized for comfort and it also is very smooth for operation up and down. On the back of the joystick, we have our unique utility S-switch. Now this utility S-switch can be customized for each individual doctor's preferences. Um, so first what I did is I go, already went ahead and customized this to where when I turn it to the right, it will increase the laser power energy or to the left, it decreases the laser power energy. We can also push the S-switch towards the joystick and activate our dual rotating AMD. Now, this rotating aiming beam is very important because if patients should have some sort of corneal opacity, uh, this can allow us to kind of get around that corneal opacity and we can treat a little more accurately. And I can shut it off by pressing it towards me again. This feature on the S-switch allows doctors to uh, utilize other features and functions without really taking their eyes off the optics. Now, talking about the optical design, um, we have optimized the optical design to increase resolution and contrast. And we've coupled that with our LED light source. And with that, it provides a more clear, crisp and clear view of the treatment area and a wider uh, focal point as well. Now I'm gonna go over some of the features um, with the power of our laser. Now, we can treat patients with 1.6 millijoules of threshold power in air. That's the breakup time. So as a matter of fact, when I go ahead and press the ready button, uh, we already have the 1.6 millijoules. And as I treat, you can see it breaks up in air. Now this is important because we can treat much more precisely and possibly with lower power. 